Bots and Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be reviewing the Ghostbusters uh, Afterlife, uh, Ghostbusters Fright Featured, Ecto-1, Ec anyways, it's Ecto-1, I'm not sure what kind of series you want to put before it, like Afterlife or the Fright Features, but this is basically the Ecto-1 that will go with the Fright Features, you know, these little guys that we reviewed last time, ooh, it's our car, yay! <laughs> Uh, but anyway, taking a look at the box, you can see you have the nice Ghostbuster symbol here and this caution motif at the top with the yellow and the black. Four plus, you can see Ecto-1 zooming around there. You can see Phoebe in the gunner seat with this is the plasma or proton cannon that's shooting out. That's pretty neat. Uh, I think this is the Stranger Things guy. It was, his name is Trevor, I think. Is that what his name is in the movie? I don't know. Uh, this is a nice representation of Ecto-1. You see Ecto-1. New York and uh, it is in the same box as the fright features with the because you can see with the caution and then you have the Ecto-1 fin here it says Ghostbusters Ecto-1 playset and some credits for the box and Hasbro on the side of the box a Ghostbuster symbol coming back down more credits proton stream ah, on this side of the box a bigger Ghostbuster symbol that is awesome on the top of the box you just have a Ghostbuster symbol and caution tape on the bottom, just a bunch of uh, credits for the box. Now, this is actually interesting. This apparently is an official GM product. They even have the official GM logo there. And it's the little hologrammy thing. So that is really neat. This is actually a licensed product. Okay, zooming out. And uh, we got to take the trip to the back of the box. And on the back of the box, you can see the Ghostbuster caution symbol. You can see Ghostbusters Ecto-1 playset. You can see this is what it would look like out of the box and your little kid there hey kid and you have a little rc ghost trap with it it looks like that can uh, come out to a little ramp on the back but we'll take a look at that and some more credits for the box and hasbro so that is really cool all right so that is it in the box and for this thing to be in the box i think we're, there's going to be some assembly required so let's get this thing out of the box and see what it can do. And here we have Ecto-1 out of the box. And out of the box, you can see it comes with a lot of pieces. So yeah, there is a little bit of assembly required here. But you have this fancy dancy instruction sheet to help you transform this pile of parts into a working Ecto-1 and Ghost Catcher. Yay! And then you have a nice sticker sheet where we can use these stickers to sticker it up. And uh, this kind of reminds me of the old Ecto-1. I know it came with sticker sheets. I never actually had the original Ecto-1. I bought mine off eBay and stuff, and the stickers were not applied correctly, but, you know, you have to deal with what you get. So, anyway, this is what it looks like out of the box, and I think we can take a look at the instructions and go step by step and get us an ecto-1 so let's get this thing built okay so first step is we are going to assemble the gunner seat so we will need to take the gunner seat and tab one of the doors so here is the gunner seat and here is tab one on the door and then you have the little ports here and pegs here. So I guess that means it has to go in this way, like that. Aha! Well, that was easy enough. Ooh, I hope they're, all the steps are like this. I am good at putting things together, but not too great. You know, I could show you the Defiant model if you want to go look up that. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, so let's see. Is that... All right, that looks right. And now they want us to install it into the bottom half of Ecto-1 which is number two step two so here we go we'll bring in the bottom half of ecto one and let's see turn it around so this would be here so i guess it folds out like that okay so we'll slide this in excellent hey snap that's a good sign so okay now it goes all the way out so there you go. Yeah, it works. Okay, so that goes in there like that. All right, so then it wants us to put the other car door, this one, into the other slot here. 
Ah, aha. Yeah, there we go. Ah, put that in there. So now we kind of got a side of Ecto-1. That's good. All right. Uh, so the doors are now open. Well, I guess that doesn't go all the way open. That just kind of goes halfway open. All right, and then it closes back like that. And so that is cool. Okay. All right. And after we got the doors, so now it wants us to work on the back door. So we need to find this little white piece and this other white piece. So let's see. Yep. Here's one. And let's see. Is this the same piece? Yeah. You got the little squares there. So yay. Need that. And we need the back door of Ecto-1, which is this thing. So, and basically all we have to do with this is tab it into here. Ah, there we go. That looks like it worked fine. So, yay, I got a piece. And that is going to plug into the back of Ecto-1. So, turn Ecto-1 around. And we will put this maybe in these little side ports here. Ah, like that. Aha! Yes! I am doing it! Woo! -hoo. Okay. So now it has a back door. That is good. Always good to have a back door. That's where the proton packs come out. Actually, that's a little ramp thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. All right. Now we got the back. What's next? Let's uh, see. Oh, it looks like next is the top. We're going to put the top on. So that should be easy enough. Okay, you got the top. Here it is. Uh, scan it. Put this in here. And around. Put the line it up with the little tabs. I never say anything is should be easy because that's when it's a guarantee that it's not going to be easy, and you're going to be foolish. Uh, uh, so just say I think I could get it. Nope, uh, that needs to come out there. Aha! Is that it? Is it on? Oh my gosh! I think we did it! That is so cool! Uh, nope, nope, nope. This side isn't in. Ah! Let's see. Crap. Here we go. Up oh, in. There. Uh, nope. 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 Now the window's not in. Up oh, there. All right. Did that knock it off on the other side? No! I think we did it. Woo! There we go! We have Ecto 1 almost together! <laughs> Okay, this is fun. All right, now we get the top on so it can roll and we're good there. So what is next? Next is the fins. So we got to put the fins on. So easily done. Fine. Oh, oh, what did I just say? Do not say anything is easy until it's done. Whew, that was easy. Ah, start. I did it again. <laughs> All right, put this here over here. Put that down. Woohoo! Fins! Vroom, 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 vroom. That is awesome. Okay, now next. We got the fins on. We need to put the blue hoses on. So, blue hoses. Let me find the blue hoses. Ha! Ah, here are the blue hoses. Okay. So, um, these are going to go. On this side, okay, I see two ports right there, and okay, the hoses are going to go in there, and the other part, the main part, is going to be right, ha, um, maybe right there, because mm. it looks like both sides, oh yeah, 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 here we go, here we go, all right, so we can put this part in. And then we put this part in. And then we put this part in. <laughs> I should have started with the bottom one. It's kind of stiff. Come on, there, got it, okay. So that is in, that is in, that is in. And so now they gotta go into these little hose until they like are flush. I don't know. 
it's going to be sticking somewhere on the inside, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, so is that it? Is that it? Is, we got the hoses? It looks right. So with that done, we need the ladder. So we'll get the ladder, which is here. All right, and the ladder will come underneath the peg, but no, I can't go there because that's where I got the hose sticky. Hmm. There should be two pegs slots for the ladder, and the ladder is going to go on the car like this. And here's one peg hole for the car, for the ladder. And it should line up with another peg, but there is no other peg hole there. Huh. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. It's, it's kind of hidden up there. So, yeah. So we could just slide this up into the slot. Ah, okay. There. The ladder is affixed. Yay! I should have really should have put the ladder first and then the hose because the ladder needed to go in. So if you do this, if you're watching this and you're not doing it at the same time, remember I think the ladder should go first because you know it's hard to get to the ladder in there if the hose is already in there. But that's okay. All right, there we go. So ladder and hoses, check and that leaves the proton cannon so what are we going to do with it let's take a look at it so here's your proton cannon and it's basically a little peg thing it's not got a spring so this is actually just all momentum so you would just uh let me get this out of here you just take it stick it in here to it clicks and then just you're going to push the tab out the back. Ooh, and there it goes. Hey, look at that. That came right back to me. So just tap it in. Doosh, and it, it goes pretty far. And it's not very forceful. So, you know, it's not going to really hurt anybody or poke anybody's eyes out. So that is pretty neat. And what the instructions are saying that you do with this is... Let's see. I saw it. It says... Um, it's saying you can mount it on the top of the car. Can you? Can you? Yeah. Can it go here? Yeah. It, go, it can go right there, and you can use it at the top of the car, which that is pretty neat. So you can go, boosh, and there it goes. So, yeah. Boosh. Ah. Oh, there it went. But, you know, that is just one of the places that you can put it. You can also put it, the instructions say... If you turn the car back to your gunner seat, and this is really what you want because, you know, it's your gunner. And it will go into this side port right here. So, yay. There you go. And then you go, boosh, or boosh, and there we go. <laughs> All right, that's, that's fun. Now let's see. Can it stay in there? If I like close it up, is it gonna stay? Mm. Uh, no. Well, there went my seat. Ah. So I don't think it can stay on there if you uh, have it on there. I think you have to remove it in order for the door to close. Let me try again. Yeah, because it's hitting the other seat. So yeah, this can't stay there. Um, so if you want to store it you on the vehicle, you'll have to put it up here. And I think that's fine too. Okay. And is that everything? No, that's not everything. We still have the little uh, ghost trap guy. And the ghost trap guy is here. And he's basically just a, you know, little ghost trap with wheels and... What he's supposed to do is you open up the back and he comes out here. So you'll be able to store him up there until he's needed. And then pull this down and there he goes. Ah, he's off the table. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, there you go. That is pretty much 
Ecto one put together with all of the um, stuff. So that just leaves the stickers. Stickers, 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 stickers. And there is a map of where you can put the stickers right here on the back of the instructions. You don't have to use them all. You can use some of them. You can use none of them. But this needs some stickers, I think. And let me sticker him up and I will be right back. And here we have Ecto-1 all put together and stickered up. And this is a beautiful, beautiful little toy car. And once it's all assembled, it measures out to be 14 inches long and about seven inches tall if you have the cannon. If you take this off, you're looking at a little over five and a half maybe. So yeah, this is pretty neat. And you can see I applied some stickers. You had the Ghostbuster symbol here. The cannon had a little caution sticker on it. The front of the car had Ecto-1 down here. On the other side, you get another Ghostbuster symbol. And I'm not sure with these little lights, but they were little green lights, so I put them on there. And on the back, you had another Ghostbuster symbol and another license plate and this window. And just a word of caution, but this is what I was talking about earlier. When you uh, go to put this together, if you want this caution sticker here, you might want to do that before you put uh, this piece together. It's not real hard to get it apart, but uh, still saves you a little bit of heartache. So that is that. The only stickers I didn't really use were the white walls that w went around the tile tires. Um, I think uh, these are fine and I don't really care one way or the other if it has white walls, but you know. And then you have the little uh, RC ghost trap and he has his caution sticker there. So we, that is pretty neat. And we can put him back into his little cage. So yeah, yeah slide him in there and there you go. All right, and that is what Ecto-1 looks like, all put together and stickered up, and it is awesome. Moving on. And for comparison, here it is with the real Ghostbusters Ecto-1, and please forgive my Ecto-1. It has seen some play over the years, so it's not in the best of shape. But I am looking forward to the re-release of the uh, real Ghostbuster Ecto-1, which is a Walmart exclusive, and I'm still on the lookout for that. So anyway, <clears throat> I digress. So you can see the uh, real Ghostbusters Ecto-1 is obviously a little wider than uh, the new one, but that's okay. And if you go to the sides, ah, I'm gonna have to put him on top. So there you go. Uh oh, and that's still not gonna be able to see. <laughs> Let's back the camera out a little bit and move it up. So yeah, they can fit real <laughs> nicely on top of each other. So I'm not sure, like I said, I got this off eBay a few years ago. And I don't know if any attachments, so this is not complete Ecto-1. So this may have some attachments. I think it did have some sort of seat that went on the top. Uh, and, but that is the sides coming around to the backs. So that is cool there. And this did actually open too, and you did have this little hook mechanism that comes out of here. And, uh, uh well, oh, that's cool. Still, it just jumps right out of there. That's crazy. So there you go with the back views opened. So put that back in there. Put that back here. Still got the Ghostbuster symbol here and the Ecto-1, kind of. <laughs> and then this side is the same, except, you know, mine's missing a door. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so that is your comparison with the uh, original Ecto-1 from the real Ghostbusters. Now, I didn't get the Plasma Series Ecto-1 because I wasn't collecting the Plasma Series. So sorry, I can't compare those two. All right, that is your comparisons. Moving on. And here you have the guys right next to Ecto-1. And the scale is pretty nice and dead on. So if we could take Ecto-1, twist it around like this, and then put the guys out like that. So yeah, there you go. A little more scale for the Ghostbusters and their Ecto-1. That is really cool. All right, so now, 
Can the Ghostbusters fit inside? Of course they can. That'd be silly to create a car for them where they can't ride inside of. So what we are going to do, now the driver's side door doesn't open. In fact, nothing over here opens. The only thing that opens is these two doors here in the back. So to get the guys in, we'll have to put them in this away and bring out the gunner seat. Oh, it fell off again. Gar! All right, let's get that fixed. Yeah, put that there. And what's neat, uh, I didn't notice before, is this back part is actually a proton pack. So it is a proton pack molded into the back seat. So that is cool. So that will fold out like that. And then um, it will probably be best to have the guys without their proton packs on. Definitely in this seat. So Winston used to drive, so we'll put him in the driver's seat. I think he can fit in there. Come on, Winston. Get your big feet in there. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. All right. So he's there. He's seated. All right. So now, um, hmm. The gunner seat is going to take up most of this room and it's going to be facing back. So there isn't really any way that you can get another Ghostbuster in the front. So we'll set up the gunner seat. Now the gunner seat is interesting because as you can see, like I said before, the back is molded into a proton pack and the seat tab here is actually the same kind of tab that would be on the back of the proton pack. So where all they have to do is peg into the already prepared uh, backpack piece of the proton packs. <sighs> like that and there you go Whoop. and then he fell off because this seat won't stay plugged in ah. sorry sorry all right so get this in there yeah, glue it let's see how that works ha <laughs> ha see that all right so there you go with that and then we'll need the little gun to go on the side and then boom okay so there you got ray in the gunner seat and close this up now technically you could ride outside <laughs> and that would be kind of scary but you know you could yeah, get peter in to the passenger seat there so you could do that and close that on him and then egon he could be riding in the back as well let's see can we get egon in there come on get egon uh, yeah put him like that yeah there you go and you know they're all in there <laughs> it's probably not the most comfortable ride and there's no way that you're going to be able to close this with ray in there but you know that's fun you can get it looking really cool and <laughs> so that that's really fun i like that and uh maybe it'll be, work better because there's supposed to be a line of kids and they're obviously going to be smaller so maybe when you get the kids they'll fit a little better than the adult size ghostbusters so yeah yeah, that's not gonna work. So sorry, Ray. You're gonna have to ride on the outside. Oh, ah. <laughs> All right, moving on. And this has been the new Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And I'm not sure what kind of subtitle you want to add to it. Like I said in the beginning, you could call it the Ghostbusters Afterlife, Ghostbusters Fright Features, Ghostbusters Classics Ecto-1. But what I can tell you is I found this Ecto-1 on the shelves at Target for $27. So if you're looking for it, that's where you can find it. I think it's a great little toy. It's fairly inexpensive for what you get. I mean, it is not very articulated. You got three doors that open, but you have a gunner seat and a proton cannon, and you get this little RC uh, ghost trap rolly guy, and he moves really well. So for what you get, $27 isn't a lot. 
and I think you'll really enjoy it, especially if you picked up the Fright Featured Ghostbusters. And like I said before, there's a wave of the kids coming, so they would probably be able to fit inside the car a little better, but still, this looks great. This brings back so many memories of having these guys, well, having the real Ghostbusters and the Ecto-1 that I showed off earlier as a kid and playing with them, but this is a great set of toys for a new generation if your kids like ghostbusters if they've never heard of ghostbusters you can show them the movie go find these toys and you'll have a ghostbuster fan for life uh, or afterlife <laughs> no that's a bad joke okay so that's pretty much it for the review it's a car it rolls <laughs> and uh I really recommend getting this if you like uh, the Ghostbusters. It's a really great toy and uh, hits the nostalgia buttons really well. All right, guys, that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep playing.